laser-built trucks must be familiar to both vehicle enthusiasts and movie buffs. The Peterbilt 281 and 351 were featured in the movie Jewel, and even today the company's doing quite well. More than 80 years of experience is no joke. So, tuning fans often take an interest in these American trucks, and one such project is on the screen right now. The team offers an old-school look at the new Peterbilt 389 and share the truck's characteristics. A 565 horsepower Cummins engine, an 18-speed transmission, Alcoa rims combined with Bridgestone tires, leather seats, dark-colored interior, 16 gauges and 26 switches, plus a smart nav unit with all the bells and whistles. The truck was made to order in a single copy, but the team is willing to make something similar. Anyone interested is invited to visit the website or make a phone call. Another Peter built that looked cool even before the tuning. In the US, about 50% of highway transportation is done by private drivers, so there's a whole culture of truckers and, accordingly, impressive trucks. On the screen is the 389 again. It combines a classic American style and modern technology, and it's become even more interesting after the upgrade. In particular, the crew repainted it in military style, improved the insulation, and added an audio system with a subwoofer, rosewood panels, and plenty of leather. The engine is a 565 horsepower Cummins. Saw this truck a couple of days ago when I was getting gas. Still thrilled, one user wrote. Did you like it? This awesome vehicle was commissioned by Scott Bloomkist, a driver known for his performance in NASCAR and various dirt track races. In addition, he knows a lot about cars, so much so that he built the chassis himself. Obviously, he had some specific requirements for the motorhome. The result is this truck and trailer kit, which one publication called the best you've ever seen. The Turnkey Industries team took on the project, and the results are really impressive. Inside, you'll find a real rock and roll paradise. A sound system, a bar, a couch, a bed, and a lot of lights. On the outside, the motorhome is equally brutal and stylish. We wouldn't be surprised if there were a Batmobile on board. However, there were some issues. The beast turned out to be too heavy and didn't comply with legal requirements. In terms of technical features, it wasn't perfect either. So, Bloomkist planned to return the vehicle to the workshop and make something else. It is clear that the competition among manufacturers of motorhomes, trailers, and other similar things is quite high. And for good reason. Buyers are willing to pay hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars for some vehicles. But how to stand out in a market full of expensive masterpieces? Easy. You need to offer something your competitors don't have. Meet this trailer. Which, in addition to six beds, a lounge area with a kitchenette and other usual options, it's equipped with a fully-fledged sauna. It accommodates four people, and there's also a shower. The trailer is 24 feet long, insulated and painted in a camo style, and there's room on the roof for solar panels. It's time to remember Greek mythology, namely Chimera, a monster with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a snake. The creators of this truck called it Chimera, and even though it doesn't have a lion's head nor a snake's tail, it's still worth a look. The engine is a 1,000 cubic inch V8 that produces 1,460 horsepower, so it takes about five seconds to reach 62 miles per hour. To tame such power, it's equipped with a six-speed gearbox from Allison, a company founded in 1915 that knows a lot about engines and transmissions. Originally, it was supposed to be a retro truck, but then the ideas were abandoned in favor of more modern ones. And according to the team, they didn't disappoint the fans. Now, 
Next up is the brainchild of the Freightliner Company. Again, movie buffs will immediately remember Terminator 2 and the T-1000 chasing young John Connor in a Freightliner truck. By the way, the company was founded in 1942 and at some point was the largest truck manufacturer in North America. However, times are changing. And in addition to classic models, its engineers offer this electric version. Instead of reinventing the wheel, they took the tried and tested Freightliner Cascadia and adapted it, following modern eco trends. As a result, the truck can travel up to 230 miles on a single charge, and it takes only 90 minutes to charge from 0 to 80%. The maximum total weight of the truck and trailer is about 82,000 pounds. According to the test drivers, it is really nice to drive. The truck doesn't make any noise, boasts excellent acceleration, and is stable due to its low center of gravity. Do you think it's promising? Kenworth trucks are no less interesting, and they also starred in movies such as The Ice Road. And in the hands of tuning crews, Kenworth vehicles turn into masterpieces. Take a look at this bright red W900, for example. It's made in a single copy to order by the best in the business, the description says. And it looks like a car from Pimp My Ride. The truck can move the bumper, and thanks to the improved suspension, can change ground clearance if necessary. The wheels are decorated with spikes, and lighting was added around the perimeter, so it looks like the trucks from Coca-Cola Christmas commercials. However, some users wonder, how can the driver see the road if this ridiculous visor blocks three quarters of the windshield? Here is a unique expedition truck built on a Mercedes-Benz Z-Tross 6x6. It was built in 2013 in Germany, and later it was successfully sold, so all we can do is check out its technical specifications. Let's start with the engine. It produces 326 horsepower and meets Euro 5 standards. The combination of a 6-speed gearbox and locking differentials provides all-terrain mobility in the toughest conditions. And when it comes to rest, the adventurers can enjoy this mini apartment. Inside there is heating, a TV and audio system, a kitchen with everything you need, a shower, a toilet, and a lounge area for four to six people. Curb weight, including fresh water and fuel, is about 42,000 pounds. The motto of the authors of the project is passion for perfection. Can you find a single flaw? Here's another Scania, this time more affordable for potential buyers. This chunkier version is called the Long Line and is modestly referred to as a European long haul truck. But back in 2002, when the first presentations of the Long Line began, it was clear that this was going to be quite something. If I had a million dollars, I wouldn't spend it on this truck. The reason is simple it might not be enough, writes one reviewer. No wonder, engineers managed to fit an entire mini apartment with everything you need inside the cabin. A sink, a fridge, a microwave, a TV, sofas, a bed with a 35 by 79 inch mattress. It's easy to forget that you're in a car. It was built on the top line cab, which became about 4.3 feet longer after all the modifications. It might be a limited series, but you can find the long line on chassis from 4x2 to 8x4. This truck was customized so much that an expert on a car website even compared himself to a vegan trying to pick out a sausage. I had no idea what I was looking at, he said. But then he revealed the secret. It was a 1975 White 4000. The White Motor Company had been known for its reliable truck since World War I, but it went bankrupt in 1980, and the assets were bought by Volvo and several other companies. 
twin turbochargers, a 1700 cubic inch Cummins engine, 900 horsepower, and seven years in the works. Such projects are worthy of respect. The driver could go at 62 miles per hour even with a trailer, blowing more smoke than a steam locomotive at traffic lights and leaving more rubber behind than a dragster, a reviewer says. And you can see this truck in Australia. It often appears at various motor shows. Built for business, designed for drivers, the manufacturer's website says about this truck. And these are not just meaningless words. According to some tests, driver strain is reduced by about 30% thanks to a whole bunch of auxiliary systems. For example, command steer helps you to stay in your lane, compensating road unevenness, drifting and other difficulties. And during parking, reversing and other low-speed maneuvers, the steering wheel automatically returns to zero. Plus, the truck monitors the situation on the road about 2,000 times per second. This version is called the Mac Black Anthem and is a limited edition. You could sum it up in two words, all black. So now you can make money not only with comfort, but also with style. And a nice addition will be the exclusive owner's kit each buyer gets. This Freightliner M2106 was also lucky to end up in the right hands. Even its standard version is a pleasant surprise. For $170,000, the lucky owner gets a 350 horsepower Cummins engine, a six speed automatic gearbox, a 4x2 drive, and a 100 gallon fuel capacity. This custom version features black leather interior with carbon fiber inserts, improved sound insulation, a unique center console with built in wireless charging, and other gimmicks. We're approaching the end of the video in a tuned Kenworth K200 truck. The official website calls this model an Australian icon and explains that available configurations are 6x4, 8x4, 8x6, and 10x6, which makes the truck suitable for a variety of tasks. The clients can choose engines with power up to 600 horsepower, manual or automatic transmission, and the truck is also equipped with a sleeper cab. Compared to the previous version, the K100, the reviews highlight the more spacious and comfortable interior. The new seats are wider, there's a special place for a fridge and a slot for documents. The radiator grille was also redesigned, which in combination with a new bumper provides better cooling. And of course, no one prevents you from further tuning the K200. The design is so successful that just a couple of custom elements and a new color can achieve an impressive result. Users on a website have already drawn a portrait of the K200 driver and dubbed him Fat Man. And for his main rival, the Joker, we suggest this. After all, he likes to draw attention to himself. And even the night streets of Gotham City seem like a fun and positive place when you're driving a truck like this. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.